Okay, we're going to go ahead and start creating our pages uh, that are going to have different layouts. And I just really quickly, I want to show you that I made a couple of notes, and or some notes. And these are the pages that I would like to create. So I'm going to create four pages. So you'll see here that I've got four links. I'm going to change the names of these links. And I'm just going to call them like page one, page two, and so forth. So, um, but here's an idea of what it is that I'm going to attempt to do. So on the first page, it's going to be sort of like the model of maybe a landing page where I have like a whole unit and then maybe three column badges that would be featured things. And then maybe another whole unit underneath <clears throat> sort of to tie the page up at the end. And then another page, page two, I'm going to try to make something that just has all featured badges. And you can imagine that being like maybe something for a portfolio or gallery, something like that. Um, and page three, I'm going to do something that looks a little different that maybe has whole columns only. And instead of maybe having the gray background, I'll do something that's got transparency so you can see how that looks. And for the fourth page, I'm going to do uh, something with a whole column and then underneath it have three columns with variable length text. So you can see what happens whenever you add things of different lengths in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to change the names before I do anything else. So we'll say, well, let's just call this landing page or you could call it home or something like that. And then we'll call this uh, features, okay, and this one will be, uh, we'll say, um, posts, something like that, and the next one, or we'll just say articles, I guess, let's call it that, and then this last one would be, um, uh, actually that one should be articles. So let's leave this one at, at uh, posts. And then this one will be articles. I'm just sort of randomly making up these names. You could do whatever you want. Um, so this one is going to go to index, which is this current page, .html. And I'll spell index correctly. Okay. And uh, then we're going to make something another page, let's, I'll call mine features, you can call yours whatever you want, .html, and then this one will be posts, I don't have these made yet, by the way, and this one will be articles, you could also call these, like, index, and then, uh, one, two, and three, that's fine, if you don't know what you want these to be, um, and you can do any variety of thing here, so, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and um, <clears throat> the thing that I can do now that I've got that saved is that I can go ahead and duplicate this page, which is great. So up here where it says responsive web design, um, on this one I'm going to go ahead and say uh, landing page, and I'll change that whenever I duplicate it. So I'll hit save, and um, and as I said before up here on my notes, I already have this on this page. Now the next thing I want is another whole unit. So if I scroll down here and I take this article, or excuse me, take this whole section called whole, I'm going to copy that, and then I would come down here at the end, and then before my footer, I can add another whole section. I'll hit save, and let's go ahead and take a look at that really fast. And basically it's looking the same. And let's open it up so you can see the columns. So what we have is a whole section and then we've got some articles and then something that sort of ties it in at the end. And then before we discussed about this margin, we may not like that margin. And so if we don't like the scale of the margin that it's putting below and above, then we can also do something that uh, will be a class where if we want to adjust the margins, so maybe this one doesn't have as much up above it, we could do that. Um, and uh, But we'll go back and we'll do that later. Um, for now, though, that's just a basic page. 
and you you know you get rid of this information and and so forth and the idea is that these features would all sort of be the same size so um, you would want to make sure that that ultimately they are going to end up being all the same size at least on this page that's the idea now let's go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to go file save as and I'm going to save this as I think the next one was features dot HTML okay and <clears throat> now I've got to go up to the top here and instead of landing page we'll call this features and if you scroll down well first of all if you look at the notes these are only going to be featured badges and they're all going to be the same size so in this case we can get rid of the section called whole all right and then we can get rid of this other section down here where is it right here called whole you can see how you can like really start to make some basic configurations for templates and I'm gonna save this and then now if I am on this page and I click features this link will work and you can see here how I automatically just get feature 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 right and so this is really quite simple right and then now that we've put all this work into our styling uh, and if we look at our notes we decided let's see what we can do to kind of customize something that's got whole columns so I'm gonna go file save as well, actually I'm not gonna save this one I'm gonna go ahead and open the last one <clears throat> I'm gonna open this index file and the reason I'm doing that is because I want whole columns so I don't want to work off of the one that only had thirds so I'm going to go off of this one I'm going to say file save as and we're going to save this one as I think we called that posts that HTML okay and so now this one's posts and if I go ahead and uh, let's see we've got the end of the header now we've got the section with thirds I'm going to get rid of the section that has all the thirds in it okay and what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to actually show you something where if I take whole and remember that we had down below in our footer where it said thirds transparent well we can add transparent to this one too transparent so it doesn't have that big gray uh, background so let's save that and then let's take a look at that if I click on uh, posts it takes me here and you see this one the first one has a gray background but the second one doesn't and so if you wanted to have alternating rows you could do that where you have something like this I'm going to copy these two okay and then and you see one of them and I'll copy this one as well so it goes alternating where it's whole transparent whole or I should start up here where I'm saying whole whole transparent whole and then it goes whole transparent right and so forth so let's go back hit refresh and you can see you've got like alternating rows so you can see how how much work we put into this before it can really pay off really 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 pay off because now all we have to do is just alternate and if you don't like the fact that this looks like it's got more space you could even just go in there if you wanted and you could create yet another style in your style sheet <clears throat> let's go down towards the bottom and where this one says uh, section transparent article what we'll do is we'll make another one called section dot border article okay and we'll give this one a border of one pixel yeah and it can be let's just say that it's dashed what the heck it's got to spell it right though 
dashed. And we'll make it, um, let's just start off with this light gray color. Let's save that. And, and if we go into our posts page, <clears throat> instead of uh, where it says transparent, we can make it transparent and we can also add the border class as well. All right, so let's copy that and let's find all the ones that say transparent and we're going to add border to it as well. Actually, I don't want to add that in the footer. Sorry, I went too far. So we're going to add it here. And I think the other ones don't have transparency. So let's save that and let's do a refresh. And then you see now we've got these articles that have these nice little borders around them. So you can see how you can really easily just add some classes on. Once you get a really good foundation, you're pretty good to go. Um, and then the last one that we made a note about <clears throat> was this page four, where we're going to have like a whole column, and then we'll have some three we'll have three articles with variable links. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to the index page actually. So I'm going to go open my index page. And I'm going to use this as the, the starting launching point. Oh, and by the way, I forgot up here where it says for posts, I forgot to rename it uh, in the title. So I'm going to save that. And you could also be naming where it says header H1. You could also name the pages there as well. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll save that. And then I'll say posts template or something like that. All right. But these are, you know, really configurable. I'll do this to features as well. Let's go ahead and say features. Okay. And then for index, we can just call this landing page. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, we're going to use index to create this last one called articles. So we'll do file, save as, and then we're going to call it articles.html. And then now that we're actually calling it articles in the file name, I'll go ahead and call it articles here. And I will call it articles here. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead here to the web and I went to this website. It's uh, www.lipsum.com and actually if you just go to lipsum.com it takes you here and so you can scroll down and where it says generate lorem ipsum you can just generate a bunch of dummy uh, Latin. Okay and what I did was I just went ahead and I copied some stuff and I, I'm not going to make you watch me type, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste it into my document and I created, I'll explain to you what I did. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace some stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this whole section called thirds um, right here and uh, I'm going to paste it. And also, I don't need this whole section down at the bottom. That wasn't part of my plan with my notes. Okay, and these are some paragraphs with those dummy uh, par you know, paragraphs in them. And uh, where this says whole, I could also take a couple of sentences from inside of one of these, like maybe these two sentences or something. I'll copy that and I will paste that inside of this paragraph. Okay, and I'm going to save this and we'll take a look at it. <clears throat> okay, and so now what I have is a page that has uh, articles with varying lengths of text. You want to be a little bit careful not to put articles in that would be super, super long. You might think of a different way to organize your, your site. Okay, that's going to do it for this demo. Get started on your assignment and you still have to add a bunch of pictures and make sure you read your assignment requirements.